What is up, my ninjas? Dark Frog Ninja here for another episode. I know I didn't get to one last week, so this is going to be really short because I'm going to do two this week. So you guys get a special treat since I missed one last week. You're getting this little extra short one, and then next week, uh, at the end of the week, you'll get a usual update. Um, but real quick, I'll go over some things. I'm not going to really go over growth or anything too much in the tank, but I'm just going to go over why there was a delay um, and what's going on and why the frogs aren't in here. All right, so first off, guys, uh, I did get the parts to fix the biopod. Um, so I got the aeration pump and the one-way valve. They were put in. Uh, everything was wired up. Um, everything seemed to be going well. Aeration was working. Everything was going good. But my ground uh, temperature sensor stopped working. So it's reading at 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, um, 0 degrees Celsius, and it's saying that, you know, it's basically, this should not be a lush green jungle, it'd probably be frost and everything would be dead. But it's not. Um, you know, I have a digital temperature thermometer and everything's reading normal. It's reading around where it should be. Um, it's just the sensor's messed up. So. Uh, during taking the part, we found out that the uh, PCB, the motherboard, might be jacked up from when it leaked inside due to the faulty one-way valve and then the aeration pump going bad. So I'm getting it shipped in um, two days, I believe. I talked to Tom at Biopod, and he's going to send it as quick as possible so I can get everything fixed. So this week, hopefully, this will be taken care of. If that does not take care of the uh, ground temperature sensor, it's really going to suck because I'm going to have to take everything out of this. Everything's going to have to come out and I'm going to have to have access to the ground uh, uh, temperature sensor at the in the bottom of the tank. So um, I really don't want to do it, but as you can see, I've already kind of messed it up um, going in there from having to drain the biopod several times um, and re-adding the water. So it's not as clean as I would have liked it to be, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, so hopefully... At the end of the week, there will be a video update, <clears throat> and then my frogs will actually be in the unit. Um, everything's doing well, though, aside from that fact. Uh, and a lot of growth, a lot of uh, stuff happening in here, the usual. But uh, other than that, I, I will say that uh, I am going to be kind of restructuring how I do my episodes. Um, I've been kind of thinking about it, and over the next few weeks, I'm going to transition to a uh, kind of a different format. Um, I'm going to have video editing software. I'm going to make it all snazzy. Um, so you guys will enjoy that, hopefully. And then I'm going to have discussion topics, I believe, uh, well, at least once a week. Different things. We're going to talk about, you know, different husbandry, the uh, benefits of, like, leaf litter versus moss, um, feeding, nutrition, supplementation, different things like that. We're gonna, I'm going to go into in-depth discussions. We're going to talk about all sorts of things. So if you want to learn some things, you're not you're a little bit shaky um, on some of the areas of keeping dart frogs, you're not sure, I'm going to try to make it a bit more informative, um, tell you how I do things, because there's several ways to do different things. Um, so there's not really a, a completely right way or one way. There's usually different ways to do things, but I'll tell you how I do things. Um, and we'll talk about how people do uh, things differently um, but other than that I'm gonna try to make this informative and fun so as long as it's entertaining you guys are learning stuff um, we're gonna I'm gonna keep doing it I've been getting a lot of comments lately people are thanking me are very appreciative um, about the information and about everything I'm putting out and I do appreciate that that makes me really want to continue and try harder and do better for you guys um, so um, with that said this is it this is a short video um, as you can see, everything's going well. This screen rock burn is killing it in here. I might have to actually trim it back because it's taking up a lot of space, as you can see. Um, but I love it. And then the back wall is going nuts. So, you know, there you go. I really love the oak leaf ficus. But, uh, yeah, you guys, great stuff. Um, more coming down the pipe. It's going to be a, a really cool year, I think. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, Cool frog news, frog changes, things coming up that I'm going to update you guys about, and there you go. I got it. This is just a supplemental video for missing last week, so this is really short. So I'm going to cut it here, um, and then look for me at the end of the week with my regular episode. Hopefully, my frogs will be in here. So this is Dart Frog Ninja signing off, guys, saying frog on.